What's up, everyone? It is your host, Ty Cole, here with Your Voice Media, and I am speaking to one of the stars of Miracle and Mortar City, Mr. Mark Taylor. Now, we all definitely, definitely loved you as well in another film on Disney Channel called 17 Again. Before we get into that, how was it filming Miracle and Mortar City and also syncing back up with Tia Maori, who you shared the screen with many moons ago on 17 Again? Did it feel like old times? Uh, you know what? It was it was a seamless, uh, I would say, uh, reunion, you know, okay. uh, and uh, Tia is, you know, she's such a big, uh, loving, caring personality. Um, and uh, she she just wanted to make sure everyone was good on set. And, and, and uh, it was it was good. It was good to reunite. And, you know, the fans, the fans was kind of waiting on this for a long time. Right. So it was. Oh, we to- were. Okay. <laughs> we watched. Listen. We watch 17 again. I think the Twitter community, the social media universe watches it at least like three times a year because it's always a conversation that pops right back up and it always seems to center around you. Now the <laughs> ladies love you on, on social media. Have you seen any of like the fan love after years after 17 again has been filmed? Like how was that for when you see those reactions? Yeah, you know what? It's uh, it's it's amazing. You know, it's uh, it, it, it kind of makes you feel warm and uh it's also kind of shocking to know that uh you know that little film we did was 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 so loved you know but um yeah i mean i guess it just goes back to the chemistry we had and you know what um what you know the 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 sisters have built um as far as uh you know their 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 career and their brand and how they uh connected with the you know their viewers and and how much they love them so it's good to be a part of it yeah. Now you've been able to fictionally date both the Marvy sisters in two <laughs> separate movies, which I feel like basically is every man's dream. I mean, you right. basically got our dream. Now, yeah. can you share with us how it is to be on set with both Tia and Tamara? Like, is one more laid back? Is one more of like the jokester? Like, how is that dynamic between the sisters? You no, know, um, they're 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 kind of uh so connected as twins, you know. Um I think they uh, actually finish e- each other's sentences at time. Okay. Um, you know, we, me and Tia were joking about it, and uh, she was she was reminding me that I was the only person in the world who got to kiss both sisters on on screen. You know what I mean? So now, I don't want to say that, Mark, but um, <laughs> you know, it definitely is true. <laughs> I'm in the Guinness Book right now, so we uh, we joked about that. So it's a, a title that I hold proudly. You should. You're the only man in the world, right. I believe, who has been able to do that. So right. definitely man. get that in your in your in your house, like on an empty wall. Right. They just have a picture of you with right. both of them. Right. Right. Maybe we should have like them kissing you like this. So it's like, yeah. Right. You get this. I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a winner in this. Yeah. You are a winner. Now, in the season of reboots, would you want Seventeen again to be rebooted? And, you know, what's interesting, too, is that, like, we all thought it was on Disney Channel, but it actually aired on Showtime. Right, so right, if right. you do have any information on that as well, how did we get from Showtime to Disney Channel as well? So would you do it again? And how did we get to Disney Channel? I would definitely do it again because it would be great to, to work with them again. Um, also, you know, Taj was also a big part of that, too, right? Um, mm-hmm. but, uh, yeah, it would be great to do it again. I would love that. I think the fans would love that. Um, you know, it'd be great to revisit. And uh, I think everyone is uh, taking care of themselves and looking well. So I think the fans would love that, you know. Um, I'm not sure how it went from Showtime to Disney. You know, uh, that's the uh, behind the scenes stuff that I, I don't know about. So, yeah, it was kind of shocking. So I always thought when I was young, I'm like, oh, this is like a Disney Channel original. And then when I did my research, I'm like, Showtime. I was like, oh, wow. Like, that was something I did not expect. <laughs> but I'm happy about it, though. So. Listen, you're on two major networks, so that's always amazing. So you also worked on this film, in Miracle in Motor City, with Smokey Robinson. Now, how was that? Because that's a legend. Okay, that is a Motown phenomenon, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Not many people can yeah. say they've shared the screen with him. So how was it working with him, and how was he on set? Um, well, I mean, Tia was great on set. Uh, she, uh, you know, she, she has such a loving energy and um, so, you know, genuinely cares about, you know, how you're doing and... Uh, um, it was yeah. fun too, you know. We also we she she made us do a little uh, TikTok uh, thing um, in between takes. Um, we were all dressed up as uh, Santa Claus and uh, and uh, uh, Santa's elves and stuff like that. So that was fun. Um, so she was great, and, and you know, Smokey, he you know he has this aura around him. You know, he is a genuine, 
genuine uh, legend and genuinely he was blessed from, you know, from the heavens to, uh, to be able to do and bring to the world what he has brought. And you definitely feel that when you're in his presence, you know, every, everything he says is kind of like, there's some kind of magic and weight to it. And uh, it, I mean, I had to, I got to get a, some nice scenes with him. So, you know, it was definitely a blessing. That's awesome. Yeah, are you on TikTok? Like, did Tia, did Tia mm -hmm. kind of motivate you to get on TikTok? Do you like TikTok? Uh -huh. you, you a know, TikToker? I, I'm not a TikToker, no. Okay. You know, I, I enjoy it. You know, TikTok and uh, in, Instagram definitely uh, um, collide and intersect. And the same with YouTube, right? So I get to see a lot of the, the creativity on there, and I appreciate it. But I, I haven't stepped into that world yet. Um, so we'll see. What happens we'll see. In we hope to see you in that community soon. Yeah. Now, you know, while your characters were on a scavenger hunt in the film, you know, to find some of Smokey, to find Smokey at some of Smokey's favorite places, does right. Smokey share some of his favorite spots or hot spots in Detroit? Like, did he share that with you all? Uh, I don't, I don't remember that. Uh, maybe he did with some of the other actors. Um, okay. You know, the time was brief with Smokey on set, you know, but uh, it was uh, definitely quality time. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I got to talk to him a little bit how it was, you know, coming up in Detroit and then, you know, what he thinks about his hometown and, and, and some of the things he hopes to see, positive things he hopes to see happen. Um, but, you know, I got to get a little bit of his, his backstory coming up. And I kind of I kind of like that, you know, knowing, you know, what people went through and how, you know, how they got to where they were and, and, and what it was really like for them, you know, um, you know, coming up. Um, so that was real uh, I don't know, enlightening and, um, and and good to, you know get to talk to him, man. It was just crazy. Yeah. I love that. Now, the way Smokey walked up in the church, okay? Now, for me, I would be in awe if I'm at church chilling at a pageant and he opens up them two big doors and just starts belting out notes. Now, who would you have, you know, been shocked to see with like the stuck face? If you're sitting in church and they <laughs> walk up in there and just start belting out some powerful notes who would shock you the most like who would you be like wow Man. they're here you know what uh i can't i can't really think of anyone right now uh i mean i i appreciate a lot of the the you know the artists and, and singers and um i wouldn't say i have a favorite but i do have to say when smokey walked in it was surreal they, like it was we weren't shooting a scene like that was really happening and his voice is just so wow yeah, it felt just how you might have think it might have been or how when you were watching the film. That's how it felt for the actors. So, so that was a natural reaction. You were like. That was natural. That was natural. I kind of like kind of had to hold back, you know, what I might have might have said or, you know what I mean, just for the scene. Mm -hmm. You stepped in and you heard that voice. You, 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 like it was genuine. It was the real. Way. And it was for the crew and the cast. You know, we all felt his presence, you know. I felt that when I was watching, I was like, I had to run it back because I'm like, wow, like that was such a powerful one fun moment. And I just also feel as though like when you see someone like that, just like in your presence and in your yeah. like just area, it's like, whoa, like that's Ooh. a real moment. And we had multiple takes, right? And we every time he came in, it was like the same tune. It just probably felt like it would just first happen, like yeah. smoky. Yep. Now, yeah. speaking of real, you know, you have a real conversation with Tia's character about things you may have envisioned and it doesn't always go as planned. Right. Now you have a phenomenal great career. In your career, did everything go as expected, or did you have to adjust, adjust, or make some changes? Um, I would say it's always. Uh, I would say it's always an adjustment, um, and it's always, uh, you know, you you you're 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 you're, you're tested, you know, because things don't necessarily always go out to go the way you thought it was. But you just have to be. You have to be strong. You know, you have to take the good with the bad because it gets good and sometimes it gets bad, you know, right. but you just have to have that, you know, stamina, endurance to, uh, uh, keep fighting for what you, 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 you want to accomplish, you know, and, and fighting for that vision, you know? Um, right. yeah. Now let's say you're in charge of the Christmas pageant this year, right? <laughs> what is a must have at the pageant? Wow. A must have at the pageant. Good question. Uh, and I mean, think about this too, because your aunt is like, listen, you better <laughs> come correct. 
don't mess this up. So what are you going to have at this pageant? I mean, you got to you got to have good food, right? You got to. OK. Have, you know what I mean? Some you good mean, platters. Of course. Uh, okay. Um, You know, we already got smoky, so I don't really know what else we need, you mm. know, Um, but the, the grub, the food got to be good, man. The, the, OK. The, the soul, right? What kind of food are we gonna have? We're gonna have Caribbean style, we're gonna have so food. Like, what are you what are you gonna bring to the table? Yeah, I mean, you know, I got the Caribbean, Caribbean blood. So, you know, you gotta have the 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 maybe, maybe, you know, maybe some oxtail, you know, some some stewed chicken, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, you gotta have the rice and peas. I was gonna say, what about the rice and peas? Because right. I think that <laughs> yeah, you, you know have- you gotta have all of you know what's funny? Your accent came right on out. As you were the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my, you know, I got the Jamaican background, so it, uh, it's definitely a part of my, my, my culture. And I love that. Now, Lifetime always has holiday films. I mean, you can get a great 20 of them every year. Mm-hmm. What do you think it is about Lifetime's holiday films that are so addicting? Um, you know what? I, what I liked about, you know, Rhonda, Rhonda Baraka wrote this, this script. She, I don't know, it was so, it was, you know, it was down to earth. It was a nice, you know, little balance of, uh, of um, you know, uh, the, the, the Christmas spirit and also some real, some real stuff that people have to kind of look on and reflect in their lives and, and say, you know, what, 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 what is for me and what, what isn't, you know, so um I think it's definitely relatable in a, in a, in a, in a real way and what people really kind of have to analyze in their lives and say, you know what, a maturity level of what, you know, really saying what, what, what's really happening right now, you know, what's right. really, what, what is going to happen, you know, and what, what do I really need to, uh, for my soul, you know? Um, and I think that was definitely there. I like, you know, a little bit of edginess and, uh, okay and bringing that you know that christmas spirit christmas in. cheer and that fun yeah hey sure. now speaking of christmas cheer so in the film tia's character shares her and her mom used to watch miracle on 34th street what are some of your favorite christmas classics growing up that you still watch to this day um i, t- I took in miracle on, on 34th uh what else i mean you know Rudolph is uh <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer or something. Okay. You gotta put that on. You cannot go without Christmas without watching that. Right. Take that in with the kids a little bit. Um hmm. what else? What else? What else? What else? There's so many. Yeah, you know the Ten Commandments. I think that that uh is something that, that Okay that comes up. You don't uh, have that in there. Uh yeah, you uh, I'd say you know, Probably those, probably those. Okay, some good ones, some classics. Now, Lily, who is a young girl in the movie, mm-hmm. now she mentioned how she always loves to hear, wanted to hear the Motown Christmas album for the Christmas holidays. Now, what is an essential Christmas album that you have to play, or if not an album, a song that needs to be played during the holidays? Hmm. Uh, wow. I know I'm coming out the gate with these questions, yeah. Mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't, man. I can't even think of an album. I, I guess maybe it's just the songs. Um, okay. Uh, you know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. You know. Okay. You know, um, I, I I actually got to hear uh, um, Smokey's uh, uh, what was it? Um, a song that was actually in the film. Man, it's blanking right now. Um, but just the classics, the just classics. The classics. It's the ambiance. Smokey the- Robinson in general. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Play him in general. Mm-hmm. Now, your character is a music teacher in this film, you know, and he's teaching children how to play different instruments. And we got to see that a little bit in one of the scenes when you were showing the girl how to play the guitar. Mm-hmm. Is there an instrument that you're good at playing? Well, you know what? I, I, I took guitar lessons when I was, you know, probably like my, I was 12, 13. And I did a did a, a recital, uh, you know, within that time. Um, so I would say guitar is the instrument that I would be closest to. Okay. Um, I haven't been keeping up with it, but I got to revisit it in the film, and I did get um, they 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 did provide me with some guitar lessons. 
Awesome. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was, you know, I, I had the guitar around my, around my neck as much as I could. And uh, it was fun to get to, learn, you know, learn the songs. And I wanted it to be as, you know, authentic as possible. Mm. Um, so I wanted to definitely, you know, attempt to play it myself. And then I got to experience that. So I would say guitar is probably my closest, the instrument closest to me. The guitar. <clears throat> okay. I always tried to learn how to play the guitar. Never worked out in my favor. I right. actually was terrible in music class, I'm not gonna lie. Clarinet, got a D on that one. Guitar, <laughs> not bad. You know, play like a C. The vocals was okay. Kind of okay. like Tia's character sometimes. I'm a little out of range. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but we gonna work on that as time progresses. Right, right, now, right. there's a comment in the film where Tia's character's father says, everyone back in the days, they sung back up for somebody. Now, if you had a chance to, who would you want to sing background for? Wow. Besides Smokey, because I'm not going to give you that answer. So who right. would you, you know, want to? You know who uh, is uh, maybe maybe Marvin Gaye. Oh. He's smooth, man. He is he's real smooth. smooth. Yeah. Well, he's he, a good one. His music was, yeah. It's, um, but the, probably him. Probably him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Has there ever been a Christmas miracle that you've experienced in your life or made happen for someone else? Wow, a Christmas miracle. Mm -hmm. mm. I know there's a few things we're thinking about today. <laughs> Christmas miracle. Yeah. Mm. That, uh, you know, that is a tough one. Okay. Uh, I can't say that I could think of one. Okay. I think a Christmas miracle, I would say for you, is this film. Mm. I think that you're going to bring a lot of joy into the seats. I think that everyone's going to be so excited to watch you on Lifetime. And right. that nostalgic feeling with you and Tia. So I think that that's a Christmas miracle in itself. That's so true. That's so true. Because they've been, they've been waiting for us to get... We know, have been waiting yeah. for I'm probably 17 that. plus years <laughs> yeah. have, like, on like the screen together. Yeah, seventeen again. Maybe that was the magic number, but that was. You know, the magic I'm number. glad. I'm. I'm definitely happy the fans get to see this because they've been asking for it for, for years, and um, you know, it took a while, but you know, it's here. So I'm. I'm glad they get to. They get to experience that, and we get to experience it with them. You know. Okay, well, besides a nostalgic feeling, why should folks watch Miracle in Motor City? Um, you know what? It's fun. You know. Um, you know, and, and you know. They get to see, you know, a, a predominantly black cast and, you know, they get to see, you know, they get to experience that, which is good and it's very rare. Um, and I, I feel like this, the, the, um, the story and the theme of what it's about is yeah. something that I, I feel like a lot of people probably go through, you know, um, you know, really what, what, what is good for you? You know what I mean? What, what do you need in your life? Uh, um, um, you know, we, we always think that we, you know, we have life figured out and it's got to go a certain way, but sometimes you got to step back and, and see what is, what is right in front of you and what, 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 you know, the blessing that you have right there. Um, so, yeah. I love that. Listen, Mari, thank you so much for having with us here, your voice media today. For those who are watching this, make sure you go see him and Tia Mari, so you get a nice little double women nostalgic moment there. Miracle Murder City on Lifetime. Mark, we are so excited to see you again and continue with more success. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all for supporting and, and being there. Of course. Thank you so much, Mark.